Uh, hi everyone. Uh, today uh, I'm going to teach you how to send um, bulk emails to millions of users using cute jobs with Laravel and Redis. Uh, we are choosing Redis because it's exceptionally fast in-memory database, highly efficient uh, purpose of messaging, supports transaction and yes, of course, it's open source. And uh, we are we are choosing Laravel as a, our PHP framework. Uh, this is the most popular PHP framework over there. Uh, it's simple and elegant. Uh, it supports uh, built-in support for jobs, queues, and cron jobs. It has vast community, uh, super fast framework. So let's get our hand dirty in the code. Uh, to run uh, page operations uh, or in using jobs over Redis and uh, uh, Laravel, we have um, fresh install of uh, uh, Laravel application. Uh, you can check the uh, env file here. Um, the uh, queue driver is Redis. I have changed it from uh, sin to redis um, and uh, uh, let's start changing the code uh, if redis is not installed on your machine then go to redis.io uh, then follow the instructions it's um, quite straightforward um, and just running some commands will install redis uh, after installing Redis, check if it is working fine. Uh, for that, uh, uh, type uh, type Redis CLI. Uh, you are connected to the uh, Redis database. Come out. Uh, you can also check Redis CLI ping. So uh, you are sending a message. If it is working fine you get uh, pong that means mm, it's working redis is working fine uh, so this is our uh, fresh laravel installation source code uh, uh, let's first uh, con configure the dot uh, env file uh, configurations and uh, uh, i have changed the um, queue driver queue connection from uh, sync to redis before this uh, before redis it was asynchronous uh, that means there was no driver to handle uh, queues it was just uh, to render or uh, to work uh, synchronously so we have to change this from uh, sync to uh, redis so uh, Redis is installed and working and it is configured. Uh, we have fresh Laravel installation and uh, now uh, let's start uh, writing the job uh, code um, and run thing. Now Redis is working. Uh, let's create the job. Uh, PHP application um, make job mail sender job uh, if you create the mail sender job or put in the jobs for and here because the job is created uh, within the jobs for mail sender job uh, let's open this and uh, it has to functions one of the first is constructor and another one is the handler so we have to write our business logic in, uh, in the handle function so for now uh, um, let's log something log info hey the job is running and let's test if 
so to run jobs uh, in a queue or you have to make sure that the worker is running in the background so um, let's run the laravel worker uh, php artisan q dot work it will keep running the worker uh, whenever um, something detects uh, in the queue it will run so let's run in the background and add. Uh, it will run in the background right now uh, we have the worker running in the background uh, let's dispatch some job uh, we have created the job class um, yeah, which will only log some information at the moment so um, uh, we, let's go to tinker Yeah, we, we are using a, a global dispatch function. Yeah, it will accept the new instance of the job object. So uh, we are creating uh, instance of the mail sender job. Now uh, let's hit it again. Yeah, uh, this means we have uh, sent um, the job in the queue three times and uh, yeah, it have printed three times. Uh, if we do another, uh, it will display. Okay, currently um, this is displayed by the job logger now uh, let's log the information mm, tail minus f logs storage logs let's log everything yeah see this is what we have uh, logged in the uh, logger in the handler now Oh, let's run this is this is in the background as well php region tinker The logger have printed that hey the job is running okay so um, uh, we have dispatched uh, we have test the job um, uh, we have test the job in the uh, tinker now um, let's invoke the job now let's um, invoke the job um, from a controller from the browser uh, let's invoke a uh, few more jobs and let's invoke um, let's dispatch multiple jobs at a time uh, uh, for that purpose let's create a controller map controller send matter send mail controller Uh, here is the controller we just created uh, the send metal controller let's uh, create an uh, uh, controller action function send mobile email let's accept uh, query string from the browser Request. Uh, we will be sending uh, the number of 
uh, emails to send and equals uh, request the number so for i equals zero i i less than number i plus plus this okay you can use the um, global helper function dispatch as well as uh, the dispatch function of the uh, controller new Let's let this page um, multiple jobs send matter mail sender job. Okay, uh, there is nothing to pass in the constructor at the moment, and I will display a code. Job has been displayed. Let us configure this in the router mm, web routes. Matter controller sender mail controller mail routing okay in our mail job we are uh, just displaying hey the job is running so uh, in order to distinguish uh, which job is currently running um, let, let's give you the parameter as well uh, we uh, mark this as private id and let's pass this id is the id equal to id hey the job is running mm. the job running is this dot Uh, we have modified our uh, job constructor to accept an integer parameter so uh, we need to change uh, the code in the controller as well let's go to the controller and pass uh, uh, the value of the current loop iteration now everything is set it up uh, the queue worker is running in the background uh, on the left side uh, I have opened the logger uh, let me do that again tell minus f storage logs uh, just lock everything for now uh, the job uh, queue worker is working in another console I have created a form uh, to dispatch the job uh, so it has an input number parameter um, for the number of uh, jobs to create um, the queue uh, whatever you pass here uh, then that number of jobs will be created so for now uh, uh, 
let's keep done and submit uh, by doing this uh, and this controller is, will be invoked and the end is the 10 that we are passing and 10 jobs will be dispatched in the queue uh, let's uh, execute this yeah we have dispatched 10 jobs and all the jobs uh, has been executed and that's uh, 0 to 9 10 uh, let's dispatch more job by placing the number in this box uh, let's say 500 and submit 500 jobs will be dispatched Yeah, you can see the job is displaying and processing all jobs has been processed now let's increase the number let's do that uh, 3000 you can see here uh, in the console that the job is uh, queuing and executing all jobs has been queued and uh, it will be executed till 3000 so um, uh, for testing purposes we are only logging some information in real world you, you will do some uh, operation some uh, heavy operation like sending email um cropping and uh, manipulating uh, images files um, integrating with third party apis um, and so on and so forth and uh, the another important thing here is um, uh, we are running we are running our worker manually uh, using the command uh, we can automate that uh, uh, using supervisor d uh, supervisor d is a task scheduler uh, for windows or uh, sorry for linux operating system we will cover that in our next tutorial thank you